Hello, everybody. Uh, I, uh, my concept is uh, to have a uh, few smaller blocks, standardization standard, conformity assessment, consumers, and a few examples. So now I'm starting my first block, standards and standardization. Uh, general accepted definition of standardization, my colleague from Military Academy already mentioned it in, in proper way. Uh, there is a document uh, where this is stated, what is standardization. The most important uh, here to uh, notice is uh, designation of standard numbering. Usually speaking about standards, about collection of standards, it's polite to mention exact designation, exact numbers. Speaking generally about all relevant standards means nothing. Uh, so this is uh, ISO IC guide number two, published in 2004, uh, and it treats general uh, uh, notions of standardization. Uh, the most important uh, is uh, common and repeated use, and it solves potential and current existing problems. So, uh, also, uh, it prevents uh, uh, technical barriers to trade. Uh, what is the difference between a good scientific paper and uh, standard? Standard passed a voting procedure. Standard is standardization, this uh, official standardization is generally recognized around the world by United Nations, by World Trade Organization. So stating that something is written in standard is very uh, firm, very strong argument. And uh, when uh, saying about standard, I'm uh, in conformity with standard, please use full only number. Uh, title is not this. Guide by Chetri, uh, uh, Guide 2 also mentioned standard is, generally speaking, a document. Uh, key, key word is here uh, promotion for optimum uh, result of science, technology, and experience. So everybody working in science and technology uh, is encouraged to uh, propose kind of standards. Uh, it is generally a uh, degree of order in given context. Here we have more details. Uh, just don't do it to, to be general. Uh, to pay tribute to one of the sponsors of this uh, conference, uh, IEEE, so there is a joint standard ISO IEC IEEE concerning uh, engineering and management of Z-size persistent software and service information. For websites, a lot of us, our companies, uh, prepare some websites for useful information for public. There is standard uh, inside uh, some rules uh, how to organize, how to maintain a uh, website. Uh, this uh, example I put here just to notice a uh, difference in prices. Uh, if you want to buy it directly from ISO site, uh, price is Swiss franc 158. If you buy Serbian non-translated version, also in English, from Institute of Standardization of Serbia, price is uh, 300. 858 years. You can see the difference. Uh, rate of uh, Swiss francs is a little above 100 dinners for non uh, So it's much cheaper uh, to buy standard from uh, institutes for standardization than to buy over a website or internet from uh, directly from ISO. Uh, this is the policy of ISO to promote national member bodies, uh, kind of stimulation, uh, simply. Uh, so, if uh, people participate in the Standards Commission in, in the Institution for Standardization, this is a way uh, to have standards much cheaper than on open world market. Uh, look at the difference between dates. Uh, standard was published uh, 2015 in May. Serbian version 
2016 end of the year. A year and a half passed between uh, publication of international standard and Serbian national standard. Usually, uh, this time is not necessary. Everybody is encouraged to look a final version after all technical comments were already solved, uh, final draft international standard and translation can be given before publication of international standard. So uh, this time gap can be much smaller. Uh, uh, ICS, International Classification for Standards. Uh, standardization world was not very happy with uh, UDK, British UDK classification of technical papers, books, and different things. And uh, another system classification, international classification for standards was established some 10 years ago, and today is active fifth uh, edition. One of question that uh, public can put to uh, standardization institution, I want all information, all pieces of information for specific ICS numbers. So it's really simplify searching and different things. This picture has a, is not correct as in my presentation, but never mind. Uh, Apex uh, World Global Organization and Standardization are uh, ITU, ISO, and IEC. ITU is more specialized, it's uh, communication is the most professional, most deeper. Uh, IEC is generally wider, everything with electricity, and uh, uh, ISO is more general. So, main topics of cultural standardization, of uh, routines, of procedures, are developed with ISO in close cooperation with other organizations. <coughs> European level has uh, some mirror organization, that I use the term mirror. <clears throat> for telecommunications and ETSI, European Telecommunication Standard Institution. For uh, electrotechnical areas is CENELEC, and CEN is uh, parallel to ISO. Uh, on the right side of the screen, uh, I covered uh, some regional organization. The region has no political connotation, it's my selection. I used uh, here uh, Serbia, Croatia, North Macedonia, Montenegro, Slovenia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and Albania. These are national institutions for standardization active in the region. You heard I was active in the regional project and we cooperated with all of them, excluding Slovenia. They were already a member of the uh, European Union. <coughs> Years of establishment. ITU was formed in 1865. Probably was more than uh, established telegraph in 1844, and there was a problem in coordinating the course. Uh, soon after military, strict military uh, implementation, civil sector tried to use this new technology, and it was problem. And Germany had few tens of contracts with neighboring countries. Uh, being about codes. And so the uh, idea was established to coordinate the code of Morse. Uh, in next century, the name was changed from International Telegraph Agency to International Telecommunication. So that's it. Younger is uh, uh, IEC, Electro Technical, formed in 1906, just after Tesla power station. Uh, ISO is young after Second World War. They were tried uh, after First World War. Uh, was International Standard Association, but uh, was disbanded. And after Second World War, we have a main player, ISO. ISO comes, it's not abbreviation, it comes from Greek word. Uh, ISOS meaning equal, the same. So ISO is in Russian, ISO is in French, always ISO is not changed. Uh, European standardization is much younger. Uh, amusing story is uh, we from European Economic Community 
gathered on the lunch how to agree platform in struggle with the United States and Japan, strong industrial nations, and our lunch after we formed this European institution, SEN in Senate. ESI was formed because Europe 92 was not happy with SEP, its postal organization, for preparing and drafting standards, and they wanted more efficient organization, which more participation of producers and providers, so ESI was established in 88. In ISO register, Kingdom of Yugoslavia, uh, there is data that uh, had organized standardization at state level in 1939. It was 20th country in the world at the time. It was in civil engineering area. This is a membership status of this regional, my selection of regional countries. Uh, in uh, this main ISO, IEC, Senelec, and ETSI organization. Institute for Standardization is full member in all organization of Serbia. Uh, at Kosovo, there is also Kosovo Standards Agency, and they are still not member in any of uh, this international organization. Croatian Standards Institute is also full member of uh, all of international organization. Institution, uh, Institute for Standardization of Bosnia and Herzegovina is full member in ISO, affiliate in IEC, affiliate in SEN, and affiliate in SENELEC, and full member in ETSI, as standardization. There is also institution of Republika Srpska, Republic Institute for Standardization and Metrology. Uh, they have signed agreement with uh, Central Bosnia Herzegovina institution, and they cooperate regularly, but can be Republic of Serbska member in any of international organization. North Macedonia is full member in ISO, affiliate member is IAC Senselic, and full member in ETSI. Institute, sorry. Institute for Standardization of Montenegro is corresponding member in ISO and affiliate is ESN. Generally, thinking about standards, uh, what are they doing to us? We are uh, doing our scientific exploration, uh, developing new things, uh, and this uh, boring material called standard, I don't like it. Usually we use words day in ISO, day in ESA, day in Senselec, require something. Pardon? My mistake. New computer. Proper wording, we in ISO, we in IEC, etc. What is voting procedure? Uh, usually standards are developments to P, through P and O membership. P is participant, O is observer. It is a letter for national standardization to ISO, please, we want to be P member. Our experts are a few names who will participate in the, in the working. Uh, at the last moment, very last moment, after technical experts said what they had to say, uh, starts democracy. All member ISO, vote about standards. So, uh, regardless, we, if we were active, like P or O member, on totally sleeping, at the last moment, we let it go. Uh, procedure says that if 25% is against standard, it won't be standard. Uh, so, generally, if we are active or if we are sleeping, uh, standard is our standard. Usually, designation of ISO standards is ISO and number, five digits. Uh, also IEC and other organizations use similar numbering. If Europe identically accepts, adopts international standard, uh, there comes prefix EN, European norm, European standards. Further action is national adoption. Uh, let me remind you that EN is not active standard. It's a document and becomes active after some European country uh, adopts it as national standard. 
So not EN, ISO, but BS, British Standard, EN, ISO, etc. When first a country adopts uh, European standards, it's become valid on all European markets. So it may be Finland, uh, after that it is official document, not before. Uh, this adoption uh, system is organized through ISO IC Guide 21. Uh, recently, uh, some 10 years ago, they canceled equivalent documents and not practical. Uh, previously, we had international standard, we had our national standard, we said it's equivalent. Not same numbering of pictures, of clauses, but it's equivalent. It's not a practic practical for industrial use and economy, so all numbering in identical standards should be the same. All pictures will have same designation. This is the precondition uh, of being identical standard. Well, that was a story about uh, standards, short story. Next is conformity assessment. A main player on global scene is CASCO Conformity Assessment Committee. ESO has some 200 and more, almost 300 technical committees and similar bodies, but only few political committees. Uh, CASCO is one of political committees. It means its results are uh, valid and important for all other technical committees. So uh, this is a uh, topic conformity assessment. It's also very important for World Trade Organization and uh, different international organizations. <laughs> Simply, uh, this explanation, uh, standard established a so-called functional uh, approach, and I, I, I go into the next slide, it's a little uh, clearer. This functional approach, uh, left side boxes are functions and right side are documents. So, uh, selection is usually paperwork, strategically decide what to do. Determination is practical work, measuring methods, different things. And last is decision. Is it correct or not? Uh, this ROMB, Romboid says, is there a loop, feedback, maintenance, or we go out as confirm uh, conformity. The main document that treats uh, conformity assessment is uh, ISO IC 70000-2004, published. And uh, in short, conformity assessment is demonstration that specified requirements relating to product, process, system, person, or body are fulfilled. Very simple. The basic is to have a standard. Usually, and always, uh, uh, the basic is some preferable international standards. Okay. Translation within this standard to few languages of this uh, conformity assessment. Standard is basically three languages, uh, English, French and Russian, and five languages only terms translated. Spanish, German, Italian, you see. Serbian is Ocenivanje uh, Saglašanosti. Croatian, Ocenivanje Suklanosti, and so on. First party conformity assessment. Uh, very important, very neglected. Uh, there was one interesting situation with Rafael some 10, 15 years ago. Rattel uh, was providing licenses for uh, different telecommunication products, 
uh, because uh, telecommunication network is very sensitive and some danger product can ruin it. And the uh, producer was obliged to provide a technical documentation. And that technical documentation was uh, huge without any order. And I had, I had a consultancy with people from Rattel and they asked me, is there any standard we can use? And I said, please use the ISO IEC 17,050. At the time it was one document, now two parts, one and two. Uh, supplier declaration of conformity. The main thing is this declaration is signature of manager, CEO, director, uh, meaning the responsibility for the content. Uh, but uh, the main player on the world seed were uh, big companies. They said, please, don't me, with uh, advanced technology, force to go to the some state poor laboratory with poor instrumentation, with poor knowledge. Let me do it. Uh, modern uh, productions are more complex, so testing methods are developed within the production line. Let me do it by myself, and I'll write this uh, supply declaration. So this is the way for new technologies, uh, for areas where there is no economical laboratory, nobody won't test your product, but you have to solve the problem. And there is, a, uh, usually it is lists, what to consider and what to provide, uh, that somebody will believe you after you sign the supplier's declaration. Also, translation to different languages, you, you don't need it now. Second party conformity assessment. Second party, you want to sign a contract with this company and you say to them, I have certified management systems. Who is certification body? Oh, I don't believe the certification body. Let me check in your management system things uh, what is very important for me. And they send you auditor, person, this is second part. It happens usually during dinners, during celebration, in speaking about profession, uh, fake certificate will be discovered easily. You are not familiar with terminology, with basic concepts. So the second party is danger for certified companies. I always threaten them, be careful, you will have after me uh, second party conformity assessment and you should prove that you really have the system. Terminology you need. Third party, more popular. Here are all certification, inspection activities, accreditation activities. Uh, meaning person independent from seller and buyer. Third person. So have no specific interest in any of two uh, partners. Uh, ISO 9000, ISO 40000, ISO IEC 27001, information security system, etc., etc. Number of system is third party certification. Audit is term usually used for management systems. Uh, conformity assessment is more general term. Systematic, independent, documented process for obtaining records, statements of fact or other relevant information and assessing them objectively to determine the extent to which specified requirements are fulfilled. Very simple. I, an auditor, entered the company. There are requirements ISO 9001, one by because it is system standard, I have to check all requirements and part of the company, and that, that's the, the substance. Peer assessment is interesting things. When equals, it was a scheme within uh, IEC, within the technical, that laboratories co uh, cooperated among them. There was no system above, only above was IEC, uh, and IEC didn't do testing at any time. But laboratories and certification body did testing in the area of product safety. And system was developed many decades ago. The mechanism was new applicant was tested by existing members of the scheme. And they visit 
people from different laboratories visit your laboratory, your certification body, and say, are you correct, are you professional, competent, etc., etc. And anybody will ask, why, why, why do they let a new competitor on the market? E IEC is a button. And all their decisions are checked among all members of IEC once in a year, and so the behavior should be ethical. It lived for many decades. Peer assessment, that's peer assessment, okay? Translation to different languages. European story. Uh, new approach directives, some 30 of them, uh, say it's legal document and have requirements for the benefit of users, consumers, and different. Uh, this is green uh, line. Uh, harmonized European standard. Since Senate Agency publish, develop and publish European standards, but European Commission uh, check it and say yes, it is good standard for directive. Or reject it and say it is not good enough. Sometimes it happens that, for instance, they harmonize standard, and after a few years of accident, they withdraw this harmonization because of bad experience. And usually, uh, any producer on European market should recognize the rel relevant directives and within each directive, relevant standards. Civil engineering directive has few hundreds of uh, hundred standards, for instance, but only maybe a few of them are relevant. Another branch, uh, your own method. Nobody in Europe can force you uh, to use European standard harmonized. You can use your own method but you should prove that you're right. And it is very difficult. If the harmonized standard exists, simply do that. If not, in case of modern technologies, use your own method. Parallel to progress development, develop a testing method as well, and prepare uh, a testing report or something uh, to, to state that it is in conformity with legal requirements of the record. This is all CE mark. Uh, conformité European is official, but usually jokes are China export or complain excluded. It's, it's a joke, generally. Finally, consumers are very important uh, topic for uh, international standardization. Am I loud enough? I'm not using this micro microphone properly. Uh, the main player is COPOLCO, Consumer Policy. Uh, also, Policy Committee. It means all technical committee should check uh, consumers and uh, standard relevance for consumer. Here is a document, ISO IC Guide 51 published 2014, safety aspect, guidelines for their inclusion in standards. Uh, it's from the Kuzumi point of view. Uh, I put here, uh, put here uh, content. Introduction became a good document some two decades ago uh, to technically explain what is written in standards. Uh, simply introduction may be used to convince your director to let you spend money for buying stuff. Uh, I personally succeeded uh, writing uh, rationale for European Commission for another project to include uh, information security management system in financial financing by European Commission. And yeah, I used a few sentences from uh, this uh, introduction and it was successful. All standard body were, uh, were certified against information security in this regional project, maybe Western Balkan countries. Terms and definition is usual, usually always number three. Uh, and if you open the preview of standards on the site, uh, you can read all terms and definition. Principle of ISO terminology and IAC terminology and ITU terminology is if someone, instead of term, in some text, put the definition. Text should keep the sense, the literacy. It's 
semantics. Uh, consequence, all definitions start with small letter and no dots, no full stops, no many sentences. This is the all definitions are very short. In notes, the additional explanation, the notes are not part of, of the definition. Here is mentioned risk. A risk assessment in first decades of this century, uh, ESO said that risk is properly uh, treated, very important, and formed a high group for uh, risk assessments. And the result was publishing in uh, 2009, uh, risk assessment, 30,001. Uh, in management systems, first who implemented risk assessment was information security management system. 2005, first edition, first edition. In 2008, it was not included in ISO 9001 because of economic crisis at the time. They said, please don't complicate, we don't have money to prepare ourselves for new, different version of standard. So they only polished previous edition for 2000. 2000 included process approach to management systems. It's not still alive. Uh, uh, rare companies use it properly. Uh, identify your processes, what are inputs, what are outputs. The situation is not brilliant. And the risk assessment was included in ISO, uh, not risk thinking, not assessment. It's important difference. You are not obliged within ISO 9000 or within ISO 40001 to do risk assessment. It's risk-based thinking, not yet risk assessment. Okay, uh, I used the example of this guy just to explain the structure. Go on. Harm definition, injury or damage to the health of people or damage to property or the environment. Term T.1. Vulnerable consumer, 316 consumer, at greater risk of harm from products or systems <coughs> due to age, level of literacy, physical or mental condition, or limitations, or inability to access products. So this is a crucial uh, definition in the standard. Enough. Uh, analysis of proposed new standards for users here, for new project, for new report, for new etc., etc. Every proposal for preparing a revision standard on aspects of safety should identify what needs to be included in the standard and for whom it is intended. This is usually achieved by answering the following questions. To whom is the standard addressed? Who is going to apply the standard and how? Who and or what will be affected by the standard, etc. Et so this is a very good uh, checking for all documents. Uh, that are accessible by uh, uh, people, uh, not competent enough to understand what's happening, and to include it in your... Child safety. Guide 50. Uh, very interesting, a lot of consumer electronics are accessible by child. Uh, interesting is, Babies, infants, uh, those not yet walking. Toddlers usually refers to children who can walk, but whose ambulatory skills are not fully developed. Term young children to some eight years. Older are with many problems. There are paragraphs, what can expect, what can you expect from this age to happen? simply to swallow the product if it's small enough, etc. <laughs> so this is children's safety. And this is the checklist. Uh, first sentence is, has the potential interaction of children with the product service process installation been considered? If you answer no, don't use the checklist after. But if you answer yes, after is a very long checklist, uh, Guide 37, 2012, instruction for use of products by consumers. 
but there is a quite new product, uh, IEC ITPE 82079-1, 2019, preparation of information for use, instruction for use of products, part one principles and general requirements. It's quite fresh, it's my 16th, two weeks ago, was published. So it's interesting just to let you know it exists. Uh, these two documents are somehow merged. A few examples. A lot of organization worldwide exists. Uh, not only these Apex 3 organization I mentioned are active, number of others are active. And I, I uh, duplication of efforts is necessary. The same people for countries can't prepare different standards on the same topic. So message is please organize yourself, make an agreement and do it once. Don't repeat the work. Few uh, cooperation. Uh, IEC, Technic, and IEEE, they signed in 2002 agreement and amendment in 2008. Uh, ESO IEC, also agreement. Memorandum understanding between IEC, ESO, ITU, and United Nations Economic Commission for Europe. Just to mention that Economic Commission for Europe in Working Party 29 deals with vehicles, safety of vehicles. It's a system with number of standards, publicly available. If you click on site, you can download all standards. European, Etsy and Senele signed joint cooperation agreement in the 90s. Dresden agreement, IAC Senele, same topic as the technical. Vienna order, agreement. In order to respect time frame, we have three minutes more. Okay. Your, yes, that's it. Well, I'm concluding. Uh, this, I'm concluding with this. No more examples. Uh, participation in regional countries in, uh, I choose uh, jo uh, JTC1, Joint Technical Committee on Information Technology, and some committees. Uh, what is participation of uh, uh, some, uh, how many standards, how many draft standards? As example, this from Germany, uh, ANSI from the United States, Austrian standardization, Japan, and our countries. And there is a display on who is participant, who is observer, and who is not active. This dash is who is not at all active. Observers receive all documents but can't vote. Participant is obliged to vote. And final industrial systems, industrial process measurement, control, and autom automation, evaluation of system properties for the purpose of system assessment. Uh, published in 2016. Eight uh, parts. Uh, one uh, part is for functionality, one part is for performance, one part is for operability. We usually don't distinguish these uh, terms properly. Well, that's all. I, I'm, uh, I'm sorry for the poor compatibility. It's a standardization problem, generally. And I missed on the first step. This picture was not proper. So. <laughs> okay. Thank that's you. It.